this is i'd say really a hidden or secret plugin almost on being able to get more accurate information out of chat gpt without hallucinations and being able to cite specifics. That's one of the biggest problems with large language models or even chat GPT is potentially it lying to you or you not knowing where this information is coming from. So the Scholar AI plugin really helps with that. So if you didn't know, welcome, my name is Jordan Wilson and this is the Everyday AI 12 Days of Plugins. So if you didn't know, Everyday AI is a daily podcast, newsletter, and uh, Tutorials as well. We do this every single day, AI in five, helping you learn and leverage generative AI. So that's what everyday AI is. So now let's take a quick look at this specific plugin. So Scholar AI, uh, you can always go to their website, uh, but I'm actually bringing up one of their tweets here because it's a pretty good overview of what Scholar AI is and what it does. So it is kind of geared or marketed as a science plugin. Don't really worry about that. It's a lot more than that. But what it allows you to do is instantly search over 200 million peer-reviewed articles, get summary of the text, and to generate citations all with one tool. So let's go to ChatGPT, and if you need to enable uh, Scholar AI, it's pretty simple. You're going to go to plugins mode, go to the plugin store, type in Scholar AI, and then install it. I already have it installed, so then you create a new chat, make sure it's enabled, and then just start using it. So I'm actually, something you should always do with plugins, I say, is just ask you know, once it's enabled, go into ChatGPT and ask, what does the Scholar AI plugin do as an example? And you'll see right now it's going, it's go, it's uh, reading what those uh, functionalities are, right? Uh, so it's telling me I can search abstracts. It's going through, you can get the full text. If you have the URL uh, for a paper's PDF, you can retrieve the full context of the paper as well, which is which is pretty, uh, pretty useful. Um, you can save the citation, all these different things. So um, once this is done telling me all of its features, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say, please write me a short 1,000 word blog post on chat GPT and its functions using the Scholar AI plugin to cite specific studies. And I'm going to say from June 2023 to December 2023. So the reason I'm doing that is I want more more up to date. You know, I don't want something from January or February of 2023. I want something a little more recent. I'm actually going to go ahead and say September. So then it's uh, hopefully much more recent. So let's go ahead and do that and see hopefully how this is working. So again, hopefully you can see right away why this is useful because uh, a lot of times you don't know where chat GPT and other large language models are getting their information. If it's up to date, if it's hallucinating, all of those things. So by using the Scholar AI plugin, you can uh, get access to those 200 million peer uh, kind of peer reviewed studies and you can cite them and you can go and read them and get more information about them as well. So again, this is a very uh, general prompt, right? Um, we're not going to get fantastic results out of this. This is just to show you uh, an example of what the Scholar AI plugin can do. And I always encourage people, you should know what your plugins are doing. So you can click right here and you can see exactly what it's doing. So it's actually uh, using the Scholar AI plugin and it's querying studies on chat GPTs and its functions from September 2023 to December 2023. And I can go in and you can see the different papers that it's it's uh, accessing, the different URLs. So I can even see this landing page URL right here. Uh, I haven't actually tried this before, but let's go ahead and copy and paste this and see if it'll bring us to that actual paper. I'm not sure if it will. All right, so it did. So pretty cool. So you can see all these different papers that it's actually using uh, when you are making this query inside of ChatGPT. So you'll see right now, it's probably just about done, but here's what's great. So it is citing the different uh, papers that it's using to help develop this 1000 word blog post, right? So as an example, I can go ahead and click this and see the exact paper that it's accessing. That was the one that I just showed you. Uh, here's another one. Let's go ahead and read that. Great. So it's the great thing about, um, about Scholar AI is there is a free plan and pay plan. So let's actually just look at the differences while this is finishing. So, uh, the Scholar AI free is great. So it gives you up to 25 requests per week, uh, which is, you know, if you're just using it for a paper or to get more accurate information out of chat GPT, I don't think you're going to really go through 25, but if, even if so, it does have pretty affordable, uh, different plans that you can use for uh, Scholar AI. So let's jump back in and kind of see how this concluded. So 
it's pretty good. Um, it looks like this is uh, Zatoro is the reference manager, so we're not going to worry about that right now. But again, it tells you exactly the different studies that it's pulling citations from. So it's that's super helpful. So you can also do something like this. I'm going to say, please show me five recent studies on generative AI using the Scholar AI plugin. There we go. So the other thing, aside from writing more accurate uh, content inside ChatGPT with scientific or you know peer-based research uh, papers as citations, this is also a great way to learn something you, you know much faster because you can also you know use this almost as a Google right. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm querying some information, but I can also chat with a specific um with a specific article so i'm going to go ahead and click stop on this because it's actually moving a little slow today i'm going to change this and i'm just going to say please show me two recent studies so hopefully that'll go a little faster because again uh chat gpt is running a little slow today but i'm not super super concerned about that so i want to show you one more feature of the scholar ai plugin that i think is super useful and is actually really helpful uh because Aside from, yes, this will help you write better content, uh, you know, cut down on hallucinations, which is huge, uh, but it also helps you learn better. So kind of like this example where I'm querying information, but making sure it is fact-based, making sure it is um, reliable and reputable sources of information that we're using to learn, not just some random blog, right? Uh, so here's now these two different studies. So let's let's see. This one is engineering, education on the era of ChatGPT, promise and pitfalls on generative AI. And this one is a complete survey on generative AI. Is chat GPT from GPT-4 to GPT-5 all you need? So interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's talk with number two here. So I'm going to say, using the Scholar AI plugin, I'm going to say, please uh, recap this, uh, the above study. So I'm going to say number two, I'm going to put a two here. So chat GPT knows it's from above. And I'm going to say, please explain. I hate typing live. Please explain this as if talking to an eighth grader. All right. So let's say you are trying to learn about something, or maybe you're trying to write uh, a paper for school or a blog post with, you know, more specific um, kind of uh, citations, but also at the same time, if you want to learn something. So that's another great, um, another great feature of the Scholar AI plugin, because maybe you go in here to read this, this research paper, um, and you don't even have full access to it, right? Uh, depending on where it's pulling from, but you might not have access to the full paper, but maybe it's written in a way that you don't quite understand. Um, so the great thing about the Scholar AI plugin is you can use it to just chat with the actual document, uh, which is pretty cool. So let's go down here. And it looks like it says it's unable to directly access the full text for a detailed recap. It says, however, you can download the PDF from this link and upload it. Uh, so that's interesting because I've tested the Scholar AI plugin before and it actually does pretty well in this, but uh, for whatever reason, this time it did not. But um, no worries. That's why we also do these things live and we show you their their features, what it can do and what it can't do. So uh, it looks like maybe depending on the access uh, that Scholar AI has to that specific paper, you might not be able to go super in depth. You might only get the abstract version, the conclusion, the summary. Uh, but however, even just having that information alone is going to help you cut down on hallucinations destinations and get better and more accurate content out of chat GPT. So I hope this is helpful. If so, please subscribe to the channel, but also please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for more of our 12 days of plugins. Thanks y'all.